All right, this video is going to walk you through how to condense logs when you have coefficients in front of logs and also some subtraction going on with them as well. The first thing you'll notice is that when we do have coefficients condensing a log, we're getting it down to one log. That's a, as our final answer. We have two logs currently. So if we're, gonna, if we're gonna combine these logs, we have to first of all get the coefficients brought in. Now the coefficient five that you see here becomes the exponent of everything inside. That means two, which does not have a coefficient written on it, then becomes just two to the fifth power. The next one, if it already has an exponent, like this one does, you're gonna multiply those together and you're going to take that as x to the third to the fifth power as well. So that means you're going to multiply those together and get x to the fifteenth. So let's rewrite that first. So now I've got a uh, log of two to the fifth power, which is going to give you 32. And then uh, you'll have x to the fifteenth power right here. Now we're going to do the other log as well. There's a three there. So if I bring that three in, just like the previous one, that'll become two to the third power. And then if you cube uh, the x to the seventh power, that'll become x to the twenty-one. So this is going to then turn into x so the 32x, I'm sorry, log of 32x to the 15th minus log of 8, that's what 2 to the 3rd power gives you, and then x to the 21. Now whenever you have the subtraction value of this log right here, negative logs always go in the denominator of the fraction, positive logs go in the numerator. So as we try to write this down as one condensed log, we're going to have log, <coughs> we're going to make a parentheses, and then place these things in the proper locations. This is the positive log, so that'll be 32x to the 15th on the top, and then we'll have this x, or I'm sorry, 8x to the 21 on the bottom. Now to finish this, some of you uh, should already know how to reduce the fraction 32 over 8, which I hope you can do. Oops, that'll give you log of 8, divi or 32 divided by 8, which is going to give you 4. And that's what you have on the top. And then if I have 15x's on the top and 21x's on the bottom, you can cancel out 15 common, common x's on both the top and the bottom. But if I cross 15 off the top and 15 off the bottom, you're still going to have 6 left here on the bottom. So you'll have x to the sixth on the bottom. So your final answer, when all said and done, is going to be, as a condensed log, log of 4 divided by x to the sixth. Remember, when we condense logs, we want them down to one log, everything inside, and reduced as far as possible. Hopefully this video helps, and good luck.